Hello and welcome to this MAP Pro 5 screencast. Today I'm going to talk about cloud functions. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is sign up for uh, the cloud and currently we support Dropbox. So you can do that right here on the left. And what you want to do is uh, check this checkbox and you should be automatically taken to the Dropbox website. Here you can sign in and once you've signed in, you will see that it is confirmed on the MAMP Pro interface. Okay, so now I've logged into Dropbox. Um, I can confirm that uh, right up here. I can uh, click on this uh, cloud icon and look at the overview. And it says currently the cloud service is activated and authorized with Dropbox. Okay, so a few of the features here. Um, you can encrypt your data if you uh, wish to. If you click here, you can set an encryption key. Uh, I'm not going to go over that on the screencast. Uh, you can find information uh, on this in our documentation. Um, this will uh, this checkbox will uh, as do as it says prevent sleeping during cloud activity if you have larger um, uh, hosts that you are uh, saving to uh, the cloud. You can um, click this button. And below here is just a description of what we will see later. Um, the elephant logo uh, turning uh, green when uh, cloud activity is happening and this um, two-sided arrow button will appear when um, cloud activity is present. We'll see that in, in a second. And one last thing here, if you're having trouble authorizing your Dropbox account, try using Safari. Uh, that may help um, you log in. Okay, so I have a basic WordPress site right here uh, that I made uh, using MAMP Pro. And uh, this uh, WordPress site, like uh, every WordPress site, has a database associated with it uh, right here, WP my uh, underscore WordPress site. Okay, so if I just, uh, uh, this is the first time I'm using uh, cloud. So I can come here and I have the option um, only to save uh, to cloud. Uh, I don't have the option to load uh, from the cloud because I haven't loaded anything yet or saved anything yet. And uh, a couple additional features as, as an extra backup, you can save it you know, quickly to, to the desktop as well if you want to. That's just, uh, I guess, an extra backup. So what I'm gonna do here is just save to cloud. And when I save to cloud, what uh, the uh, cloud functions are doing is it's just taking all the document root folder, uh, folder files and exporting your database from MySQL, saving that into a file and uh, zipping all that up and exporting all that to your Dropbox. So that is currently happening right now. And uh, what that's gonna do is it's going to save this file to my uh, Dropbox apps map pro folder and that's eventually going to happen. So what it is is the it's going to be your hostname.zip and that's going to be the file that is stored on your Dropbox and in that file contains all your document root files and folders and an exported version of your database. And if you use encrypted, it would say my WordPress site. Uh, if you use encryption, it would say my WordPress site encryption or encrypted.zip. So that is saving to the cloud. Now I'm going to show uh, loading from the cloud. Uh, in this example, I am just going to simulate um, having messed up my website and uh, uh, using the uh, load from cloud as, as a backup. So what I have here is I just cleaned out my entire uh, document root folder on my local machine here. So I have my WordPress site here and it has nothing in the document root. And if you go to it now, I, uh, the uh, WordPress site does not work. So what I'm gonna do with uh, uh, my WordPress site, I'm gonna go to cloud and I'm going to load from the cloud what I just previously saved and it should restore my website back to uh, working. So it's gonna say, uh, first it's gonna warn me, uh, do I really wanna replace this data because it's now taking data from the cloud and putting it on my machine. So it's just a warning here. 
and uh, I'm now loading from the cloud. You can see this is green. The elephant here is green, and we have these this arrow, double arrow here when um, cloud activity is happening. Okay, so I loaded from the cloud. So in theory, yes, or in theory, now my website should be back. I can check here on my document route. The files are there. It also um, uh, imported back into my database uh, as well. So my database is there, and my site is back. So that is uh, loading uh, from the cloud. Another use of loading from the cloud would be using uh, your site on another machine. So um, you can share work, or if you work from uh, office and home, you can uh, use work on the same website and keep a, a copy in the cloud and you can start on one machine and finish your work on another. Okay, so I am on the same machine, but I'm just gonna simulate uh, having a second machine here. I've deleted my, uh, my uh, WordPress host, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new host. So this would be on my second machine, and I am creating a new host, and I wanna link that uh, to the cloud, um, uh, version. So the what I'd have to do is of course go here and on my second machine uh, log into the cloud and uh, log into Dropbox and do all that first but I've already done that. So uh, I'm on host here and you would add a new host and what you're going to notice here is this little cloud uh, uh, icon here and there's a drop down and it, it already detects that on my uh, Dropbox there is something called my WordPress site so I'll just click that and it automatically fills in. Now it's automatically going to be linked. I do of course have to find a, a document route and uh, uh, I am going to use the previous document route I had and while I'm here I'm going to mention there are backups that are made so every time you uh, load from the cloud you are going to automatically get a backup so you'll notice a lot of these backups here you can there's no way to turn it off so what you're gonna have to do I guess, is just delete these after a while if they become too much um, that's just an additional backup just to make sure if something went wrong so what I'm gonna do here is uh, click on uh, my document route create the host and I'm going to save, restart my servers. And after this is done, I can then, uh, this is an empty site, of course. All I did was link it. So if I go to this site now, uh, my site, it isn't a WordPress uh, site. It didn't automatically uh, download the uh, contents from Dropbox. I have to go to the cloud and I have to uh, load from cloud. Make sure you, you, you're loading from the cloud, not saving to the cloud. That would be taking your current version on your machine here and saving it over the, the uh, Dropbox version. So what you wanna do is here is load from the cloud. And uh, this is just another warning. If I do that, uh, I've load, I have to save, and I can restart my servers again. And then once I do that, I should be able to see the uh, WordPress site. And servers have started, and I click here, and my WordPress site is there. A few last words about MAMP Cloud Functions. Uh, we have some uh, shortcuts up here. You can save and load for a particular host and get an overview of uh, your cloud activity up here. And I've been mentioning the Dropbox software. You do not need this installed and um, to use MAMP Cloud Functions. I just have it installed on my computer, but you don't have to have it installed. And, and I was referencing local folders here, but you don't have to have um, uh, Dropbox software installed, which um, keeps a copy of your uh, work also on, on the local directory. So that's gonna do it for uh, this MAMP Pro 5 screencast.